Hey, Shalom Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Habah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect men, pushing this truth and sincerity. All right. Um, today, just a real quick um lesson. I'm on my, on my break, and uh, the brother uh Gabari, I mean um, yeah, Gabari Howard over there in uh, Hawaii. So lucky if I if I uh messed up your name, Aki. But uh, he had did a, a good video on how Jake is through, man. And you know, that's just, and Jake is through, man. And you know, just a few words on that, how he put up, you know, the 61 year old man has James a plan in the NBA. But you know, that don't seem far fetched, but the Lord coming back does, man. The understanding, the fact that the Lord gave his knowledge and wisdom and understanding the so called black man is far fetched. But a man that's 61 years old could play in the NBA. You know? So, I, I got a, a precept on that. And it's Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Because that's what Jig does, man. Especially these women, man. And these men that follow after these women, man. And you think that, you know, you would think that, you know, um, you would think that uh, Jake would, would get it. But the Lord didn't give him wisdom, man. So the scriptures say death to the rebellious children, man. Because you you cover yourself with Egypt, man. And then, you know, like on my job, it's a few Jake. And it's mainly Esau, but it's a few Jake. And you know, you Jake, you got to work hard. But then Jake go overboard, like. Like like uh that movie in too deep, like Jake is just in too deep in his place, man. You know? You get your uh you mar your bear, you you get a ball ahead. For what? To to uh to for Esau to accept you, you change you change the way you talk. You know what I'm saying? You change everything about yourself for Esau, but Esau still don't accept you, man. So the scriptures say death to those um that believe in Egypt, man. Which Egypt is bondage. This verse 2 that walked to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And that's what our people do, man. Here it is, you may go to college not knowing if you're gonna get a job, but you still work, you still bust your ass, you still get in debt. But what about you don't do that for the Lord? You know? We look crazy for going out there on a hot Saturday or a real cold Saturday. You know? But it's cool if you go to school to put yourself in thirty, forty thousand dollars in debt, not knowing if you're gonna get a fucking job. That makes sense. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. And that's what it is, man. The re the fact that our people trust, and like Apostle uh, Tahar always says, Apostle Elder, Elder Apostle Tahar always says that Christianity, that slave, that plantation doctrine. That's, that's why most of our people are going to get destroyed, man. That's why most of our people going to take the chip, man, because they trust in Egypt. They trust in this place, man. They trust that this place is their refuge, that this place is their only way out, man. You know? You tell a person to have hope, have faith, they're going to argue they gonna argue down, man. Well, as long as I get this job, I should be A-OK. -okay. I just need to make more money, you know? I need to win a lottery. That's all. You, that's all I got to do. Well, yet and still, you don't realize that you're in slavery, man. And our people was cast down, man. You know? And the real man of the Lord would see that. All right? Like the scriptures say, the spiritual man judges for all things. All right? A real man of the Lord would see that and understand that we need a change, man. A change is not going to come by money. And that's another thing, man. People trust in money, man. You know, trust in dollars, man. Like, what the fuck? You trust in a piece of paper, man. That's basically really all it is, man. It's a piece of paper. You trusting in that? Now, like I said, you know, that's the defense of this world. But people, you know, don't use it to... They, they don't use it to get by. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? People don't just use it to get by, man. They want to go uh, uh, above and beyond, man. You know, there's one Jake on my job. You know, we was talking and stuff. We was, uh... We was working... Well, he was working. I was helping him out and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, they, they give out overtime on the job and whatever. And he was talking and shit. He was like, I can't wait to... I mean, uh, 
what he say? I need some money. They need to let my black ass work. And he was like, but it's like, it's, it's funny the way he said it. It's like, I don't know, man. It's like, it's, it, it's like you offering yourself up as a sacrifice. Like, I'll be a sleeve. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was cool with it, you know? So that's our people, man. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be ashamed. And a trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. And it's like a cun in Joshua the seventh chapter. You know, he went off by taking up the cursed thing. And what he said, okay. He said the reason why he did it is because it looked good, basically. He took up the, uh, he said a goodly Babylonian garment. So it looked good. Gold and silver, that looks good to the eye, man. So our people, you know what I'm saying? They do all of this for more money. For for stuff that looks good, man. For jewelry, you know what I'm saying? For clothes, for vacationing, and stuff like that, man. So you don't ask upon the Lord. You know, and, and that's going to be a shame, man. You know, and, and uh, Akun, he got stoned for that, man. You know, the Most High wasn't with that shit. This is Isaiah chapter 31, verse 1. Again, it says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. So this is twice in, in two chapters, man. Back to back. And stay on horses and trust in chariots, man. And like that nigga Polite, man, he trusts in his car, man, with the chariot in the Hebrews were cop or ride. You know? Because they are many. And the horses, because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. You know? All all Israel should be asking for is their daily bread, you know? And like they say, greed kills, man. And because Israel is greedy, you know what I'm saying? Because you fail to trust in the Lord, like the brother right here, Jake is through, man. You know? And that's the spirit Jake's coming in, man. Because you trust in Egypt, you can't understand his doctrine, man. All right? Because you trust in Egypt, you don't want this place to fall, man. Therefore, you don't want this place to fall. That means... That you holding back the kingdom from us, man. You holding back the kingdom from your house shy, man. So what Luke 19 and 27 say? All them that 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 would that I have not reign over them, something like that. All them that I um that basically don't that don't want me to reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me, man. So it's death to you, man. Alright. Like I said, you know, Jake and our and, and our women, man. You know? Our people, tr our, our women trust in Egypt by what, man? By blinding their head, man. You know what I'm saying? By having a false sense of hope, you know what I'm saying? With this Instagram and this Snapchat, always taking fucking pictures and shit. You know what I'm saying? Being a lover of yourself, man. You know? But, you know, basically, uh, yeah, you know, being a lover of yourself, man. That's, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, self-worshipping, man. You know? So with that, uh, you know, just a quick um uh, you know, just quick word on that on the on the brother's video, Jake is through, man. Cause you trusting in Egypt. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Shalom, Israel.